Hello YouTube viewers. Today we have an Asus G73J G73JH unit and this is actually the BST7 flavor of that unit. We're going to install a solid state hard drive today. Very simple procedure. Remove these two screws. Set them aside with the panel. And what you'll see is the laptop actually has room for two hard drives, which is nice. It's going to come with one that's of size. This one's a 640 gig. We're going to remove that one from the SATA Zero slot because we always want our system drive in the SATA Zero slot. And you can just swap it over and plug it in like this because the bracket is different. So if you look at the side of this, it's going to indicate R or L, which shows which way you need to have the bracket depending on which side, the right or the left, that you're going to install it on. So keep in mind, the right slot is your SATA Zero slot where you want your system drive. I'm going to upgrade to a solid state drive that I want to be my system drive, so I'm going to put that in zero. I'm going to move this one over to the left slot. So I need to redo this bracket to be the L holes. So we'll need to flip this bracket 180 degrees on the two and a half inch hard drive. Remove the screws, flip your bracket 180, and now, since I'm installing it on the left slot, I'm going to put it in, line up the holes with the L holes, and then fasten that in. Alright, so once we flip that bracket 180, into the L's, we're able to install it in the L left slot. These little ears will go into these little plastic pieces. The top of this bracket says connector L now on this end, so we know we've got it right. This little tab lets you pull it into place. And now I'm going to refasten the hard drive. Now if I were doing any real, real laptop repair or anything where I'm going to be getting into these daughter boards and motherboard and a video card or processor, I definitely have a full static safe grounded mat and wrist strap, but for something like this, as long as I don't have any static electricity on my body, there aren't many sensitive components even uh, exposed that you have to handle. Actually none. Okay, so now we have that installed. Next up is to install the solid state hard drive. I have a Samsung 2.5 inch solid state hard drive here, and I've moved the original OEM hard drive to the left slot, so I'm going to install this on the right. Now, reading forums, I've discovered that this bracket is not readily available. You have to get it from uh, overseas international shipping. Probably runs around $30 plus to, to get this bracket. With a solid state hard drive, there's no moving parts. It's super light. You could almost just tape it in there. So I'm going to show you a nice uh, innovative way to do this. Um, not my idea. I read it on the forums, but I'm the one installing it and videotaping it. So I'll at least give credit to I wish I had that forum up right now. I'd give credit to the right person, but so the trick is these expandable earplugs. Buy a pack of these. You just seat your hard drive in where it goes. Roll them up. Put them down to the sides. One in the center. And those will expand, push that in. Now that's going to keep it secure into the connector side. And I'm going to take a fourth one 
and just kind of pinch flatten this thing. And I'm going to put that on the top so that when I put the cover down, it just puts a little pressure that way, just so it's not going to fall out. So I'm going to have my lid ready. They don't exp expand that quickly, so it's not that big a deal. Put them there. And screw this in. So once you've completed that, power the unit on, and you're going to hit F2, F2 to go into BIOS, just kind of hammer at that. That'll get you into the BIOS screen, and I'm going to arrow over to Advanced. Serial ATA, SATA configuration. And indeed, shows me my Samsung 470 series 128 gig solid state drive on Serial ATA port 0. Port 1 is your onboard DVD drive, and port 4 now is your 640 gig Seagate Momentus that came with the unit. Install the operating system and enjoy the SSD.